over here because these can can move while the the, the rimmer so is So you clamp you clamp in this area so this yeah, doesn't lift. Yeah, have super there. Yeah. And that reduce the 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 scratch inside when after pass there. Yeah, here you can see the scratches inside and how rough it is inside. It was not uh finely finished or it was just it was just drilled once from what we can tell and no reamer was passed to finish the inside surface. So now we're going to pass this reamer in there. This one, this one have a lot of material. I, I got one, uh, I, I got a few the other time, and it was like smooth. This one is a little bit heavy. Still don't have a lot of material, so I need to go a little bit slower to and generate more heat. You can see it's moving a lot. But A little bit of red with alcohol to take the oil to dump. Already a much nicer service finish inside, even before cleaning, doing the final cleaning. You need to take an exacto blade, right, and remove those burrs. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And it's just cleaning it out and washing it. And, and and we have to redo the surface finish too afterwards, right? Yeah. On many of them. Have some marks, we just... Yeah. So it made some it made some marks and we have to go over that again with the abrasive pad. And if the marks are deep enough, some sandpaper, but usually the abrasive pad works, right? Yeah. Here are all the marksmiths that we've already gone through. We've done a hundred pieces of refinishing the insides, reaming and sanding, and finishing the outside exterior too, to make it nice and smooth.